Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the Viactech channel. Here we are with something very, very particular. This might look as regular glasses, at least from the front, but they have something very, very interesting inside. So let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So I don't usually endorse Kickstarter campaigns because, uh, you know, there's a lot of debates about if they're gonna ship or not, what is gonna happen, if the, the product is gonna arrive in time or as it was advertised or not. But when they asked me to check out these glasses, I was actually very interested. I really wanted to see what it's like to own and to have and use these kind of glasses. The Kickstarter also got completely founded in just 30 minutes, so I guess that takes out some risks for it. Now, there are mostly two main glasses in the lineup, the V1 with a 1080p display and the V5, that is the one that you're seeing over here uh, with two 5K display. And I have to say right away, that the clarity over here is pretty impressive. It's impossible to spot any pixel in the screen that is projected in my face. Because here we're not really talking about AR or MR, uh, mixed reality glasses, because at the end of the day, what we're having right now is the image of our phone projected in front of us to have the idea of a big screen. But to be a real AR, we should have a kind of tracking to be able to place this screen around in our world. Instead, well, this is not possible over here. The screen is stuck to your face and it's gonna keep following around. That is great for multimedia purposes because we're gonna be able to uh, watch movies, play games and stuff like that directly with the glasses instead of using a TV or a monitor. And the resolution is actually high enough to have an enjoyable experience. But we're still kind of limited when it comes to tracking. That is completely non-existent over here. By the way, let's start to talk about what's inside the box because over here you're gonna find a bag, that is pretty nice indeed. And opening it up, you're gonna find, of course, your glasses. In my case, the cable for the connection with an Android device. Be aware though that your device has to be able to have a video output from the USB type C or it's not gonna work. And also you can find two earbuds, Bluetooth connection, very similar to the OnePlus uh, earbuds, by the way. Uh, sound is okay, I guess, nothing uh, fancy, but at least you're gonna be able to uh, hear the audio directly or what you're displaying, because over here we have nothing uh, for audio output, it's just screen output. Now, talking about the specs, these glasses have 5K displays. As we said, the refresh rate is from 60 to 90 Hertz and the brightness is 2000 nits. So it's uh, kind of hard to see through the screen uh, when actually projected, unless uh, you have a very bright image outside. And they're also myopia adaptable with zero degrees to 800 degrees. I am no clue what it means, but if myopia is an issue for you, well, uh, you for sure know. Now, talking about the glasses, they are uh, pretty nice uh, as they look. It's very particular because they use the frame of a regular sunglasses and they mounted on the back these uh, waveform part. Uh, they kind of project your screen through mirrors and micro displays that you can see right there, of course, to your eyes. The glasses themselves are in plastic, nothing particular, nothing that feels actually premium, uh, but they are pretty light indeed, so they're not uh, that uncomfortable when wearing them. Uh, they're kind of nice on your face. Uh, now, of course, they are not regular sunglasses, they're very close to your eyes, but uh, they stay a little further away. So uh, they could be a little funny to see uh, from someone uh, wearing them around. But if you stay still and straight as I'm doing in this video, well, they look actually sick. Now the weight is actually containing 55 grams. That means that yes, you have a little weight over here, but I don't use glasses. I luckily have a good vision, so I'm not really used to have pressure on my nose. If you use glasses, probably uh, you're very used to it and there's nothing different over here. But let's get to the juicy part, shall we? So using them is super easy. It is a matter of a connection with the cable in my case. Uh, with the Android version of these. And here we have a micro uh, HDMI uh, that goes directly in the glasses and the output is a USB Type-C. So you connect it, well, connect it to your phone and uh, well, it's done. You're gonna start to display your display of the phone directly in front of you. Now, talking about the visuals directly, I have to say that the 5K display is actually super, super crisp, and I was super impressed by it. But the only thing is that it's sitting in a weird position where I kind of see some smearing on the top and on the bottom of the image. And that makes it kind of difficult to use uh, Windows, for example, because, you know, the taskbar is down there. Instead, the center of the image is actually completely impressive. Now, the thing that was 
expecting from the marketing material was to have a screen projected a kind of further away uh, from my eyes in a way to be comfortable for the view and of course being able to watch a movie like if you're watching a movie in front of your TV or in the cinema. But uh, it's not really the case. I don't know if there's a regulation they can do. I tried to play a little with the screws up and down over there. But well, I have to say that this screen kind of feel at this distance over here. So if you keep your phone over there, you kind of had the same result. It doesn't feel like I have a mega screen in front of me, but just a phone stuck on my face. Uh, now, yes, it's usable, and yes, it's okay, uh, but it could be a little uncomfortable because you kind of cross your eyes a little to actually take the focus on it. One of the use that I'm doing is to use the Xbox Game Pass with the cloud gaming uh, directly there. So I use it on my phone and uh, well, I have a screen in front of me all the time. I can just hold my controller and play. And it's kind of an enjoyable experience because the resolution is very high and well, uh, the xCloud works very well. So it's super, super enjoyable. Or maybe you wanna watch a YouTube video. You start it on your phone and then you attach uh, your classes and you're able to watch it like uh, you have a screen uh, in front of you all the time that is gonna move everywhere you look. Or uh, maybe it's a little borderline, but it will be also interesting to use it maybe while driving and having instruction with the errors left or right without compromising, of course, or your view. But there's no software right now for it directly, so we're just using and projecting our phone over there with all the perks and the cons that comes with it. Now, where can you find it? Well, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below for the Kickstarter. Again, I don't endorse anything over here. I was really curious to try it. And I have to say that I'm uh, kind of very impressed by the resolution of these screens. It's nice to have a screen in front of you. And I hope that you're gonna be able to fix uh, this uh, focus issue and uh, put the screen a little more further away to make it more comfortable for everyone to use. This is gonna be compatible with iPhone, Android. They're gonna have a little attachment with Wi-Fi 6 to have a Wi-Fi connection directly instead of using the cable. That is super interesting indeed. And the other option to have a mini PC with Windows 10 running on it or uh, a mini like a PC again, but with Android running on it, so you don't have to use your phone for it. And they say that their battery life is gonna be around four hours. Because the only thing that they didn't say is that this thing uh, suck a little battery life. So when you start using your phone, well, uh, the battery will go down very, very fast. And now the 37%, I'm pretty sure I started uh, this video that I was at 60%. So uh, yeah, it goes down fast. You're not gonna be able to use it for long and using the USB type C, you're not really able to connect it to something to charge it at the same time because well, you're using the USB type C for it. Maybe you have a wireless charging, fast wireless charging might be enough, uh, but just be aware that they're gonna use a lot of battery over here. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Are you interested in this kind of concept? Would you like to see more coming to the market uh, for this kind of stuff? Do you see yourself using them actually for gaming and stuff like that? It's not really AR, it's not really MR, and not really XR, uh, but it's something in between that could be a little a nice distraction uh, if you wanna have a bigger screen in front of you without using a TV or stuff like that, and with something that doesn't look that bad at all. At least well, it looks like a regular pair of sunglasses. A pair of soft glasses that actually gets a little warm because you have two screens very, very close to your eyes. But anyway, guys, again, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there, a little down further. Also, the Patreon with the prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have a t-shirt, ticker, mask, and 2020 item number one. And uh, yeah, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.